Today we're talking about how to use easy release app, how to fill modern property releases with it and also I'll tell you a few things that you need to know so you won't get your releases rejected. <laughs> Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you all again and if this is your first time here, my name is Luca and I'm a stock photographer and videographer. I'm selling my photos and videos online on iStock and Getty Images and I'm also making these videos about photography, stock photography, videography. So if you like this kind of content, subscribe to my channel. Okay, so uh, in my previous two videos we went over releases, uh, what are they, why you need them, when you need them and also when you don't need them and also how to correctly fill uh, paper releases. So if you haven't, I suggest you watch those two videos first. I'll link them down in the description so you can check them out. And in today's video, I'll show you how to use Easy Release mobile app and what are the things you need to be aware of. Easy Release is a great app for managing model and property releases. It's available for both iOS and Android, but it's not free. It costs 9.99 US dollars. Despite the fact that it has some bucks, I think it's worth the money. And I'm not sure for other stock sites, but for now, iStock is only accepting digital releases from the Easy Release app. So if you want to go digital, this is the app you have to use. Uh, now first, let me tell you some pluses and minuses of the app and then we'll jump into it and see what it can do. Okay, uh, let's see good things first. First thing is that you won't have to bring papers with you. All you need is a phone or a tablet. So you don't have to worry if you have enough model and property releases with you. Second thing, you only enter a photographer's profile in the app once and then you don't have to do it ever again. Third thing, if you're shooting the same models a lot, all the models info is saved into the app. So next time when you're shooting with the same model, you won't have to enter all those information again, which is a huge time saver, especially if you have more models on the shoot. Fourth thing, uh, you can send releases together with a photo of the model to your email and you don't have any additional work with it. Like you have with paper ones where you need to uh, find models picture and add that to model release in Photoshop. Another thing, uh, the the app offers releases in several different languages and you can also modify the text on the release but for stock photography the standard one includes all the necessary fields and information so just stick to it and you'll be fine. But same as for paper releases, if you're uploading to multiple stock sites check if they are accepting releases in different languages. Okay, uh, now bad things. Uh, as I mentioned before, it's not free, but you pay that once and that's it. I think the price is okay for the value it provides. Next thing is that it can be quite buggy. If you check the review section, you'll see a lot of people complaining about it. And yes, I've had problems with it, my brother also and a lot of others. Sometimes it crashes, sometimes the releases will be gone after the model signs if you have iCloud Sync turned on, uh, sometimes it won't attach models images and so on. And that's why the one thing that I always do after a model signs the release, I send the release to my email and check if everything's okay. And I do that before models go home so I can fill the release again if something goes wrong. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, let's just jump into the app so I can tell you what you need to know. Okay, uh, first thing, when you download an app and before you start creating releases, you have to change some things in settings. So let's just do that. First thing is that you have to enter the photographer's info here. So you enter your name, uh, your email, and of course signature and that's it now when you create a new model or property release this will be filled already so you don't have to do that ever again and the app will set the date of signature to the date when you're creating that particular release okay you can also add logo if you want and let's see what else do we need to change okay i think the default setting here is that the app will only send PDF version of the release. So if you want JPEG, you have to change that here. 
Uh, I think iStock is also accepting PDF releases now, but not so long ago they only accepted JPEG or PNG releases, so yeah, I'm still only using JPEG releases. Okay, um... Okay, this field uh, require model's birthday. Uh, this is very useful and you should turn that on. And let me tell you why. Once I gave my phone to the model and asked, hey, can you fill the release for me, please? Of course, all good, but when I was uploading, I realized that there was no birth date on the release. It only said adult. And iStock requires a date of birth, so yeah, you can just delete a release like that. But when you have this um, require model birth date on, then there's no adult or minor option when you're filling the release and that's it. Uh, also, this option delete sent releases after 30 days is on by default, but I like to turn that off so I have all the releases in the app. Also, if the app deletes model releases, then you don't have the model's information in the app anymore, so you'll have to fill in all that info again on your next shoot. Okay, uh, this use iCloud option. Uh, I noticed that this option is causing problems like deleting model releases that you just created sometimes, so I turned it off. Uh, okay, uh, that's it. Now you're all set to create your first release. So let's go back. So let's click on this plus icon on top right corner. And now you can select if you want to create model or property release. So let's start with model release. Okay, uh, shoot name is optional, but I always include that. It's also very useful if you have more models on the same shoot, so you don't have to enter this info again. You can simply select from the list of the existing shoots. Uh, I always include the date of the shoot in the description field, otherwise uh, you won't be able to find this exact shoot between 15 business shoots, for example. So, um, yeah, let's say today is 2021, um, July... Um, second and we're shooting business okay um i'm not sure what this shoot reference id is so yeah let's just move on next uh shoot location you can enter location here or you can click this arrow button down here and the app will fill this info for you that's it uh next so shoot date is a mandatory field so you have to select something uh, or you can just click on this today button down here okay now we came to the models information model name is required so let's say I'm the model so next okay uh, address is also required field so let's just enter random street one, two, three, um, city Ljubljana, we don't have states here in Slovenia, so we'll just leave this empty, um, zip, okay, uh, when we're done, we just click next, uh, contact info, uh, one of these fields is required, so you have to enter email or phone number or both of them. So, yeah, uh, this email and phone number, blah, blah, blah. Okay, also, if your model is a minor, these two areas, so address and contact info, this needs to be parents' information. Let's move on. Uh, date of birth, this is a required field, so you need to select something. And if your model is a minor, the app will tell you, so... Let's say that the model was born in 2018. Let's click next. Okay, and we can see that your model is a minor. It is three years old and you must fill in parent's name. And of course, as I said before, all those contact information and address should be from the parent. Also, uh, be careful here because the app will treat all people under 21 as minors. So if you're in a country where the legal age to be an adult is 18, then just ignore that. Let me show you. So uh, if we enter date of birth, let's say 
2002 or one next um so we can see that the model is 20 years old but you still have to enter parents name but like i said if you live in a country where you have to be 18 to be an adult then just ignore that and hit next okay gender yeah this is optional ethnicity is also optional but like i said in my previous video it's recommended because when you upload images you can select ethnicity there and you should only select it there if ethnicity information is supplied by model here in this section that info of course is searchable and some customers are searching for specific ethnicities so i would always include this field so okay uh, Caucasian. Uh, next step is photo of the model. So visual reference is necessary. So the best way is just to take photo of your model and that's it. So yeah, let's just do this. Okay, use photo. And that's it. Um, okay, uh, witness area here. Also, that's an optional field on iStock, but it's always good to have someone who was there and can confirm that the model signed the release and agreed on everything. Let's enter witness name. Let's say my brother was witness. Okay, next. And we're done. So now the last thing that we need are signatures. So, um... Let's go down here and we can see that we don't have signatures yet. So we can click here and yeah. So here's a text what model is signing. And when we scroll down, we can click agree and add the signature here. Done. Same for witness. Okay. Agree. Da -da -da. Da and that's it okay now we have a release created so we need to somehow transfer it to your computer so we can send it by email we can click here ready to send okay um send to email and we can select if we want to send the release to us or the model or both okay so let's say you okay and that's it and now let's see the process of creating a release when you already have a model in your database. So again, let's click on this plus button here and select model release. And let's say we already entered at least one release for this shoot we're just having. So we can select shoot info from the list. Okay, let's select this business that we created before and we're redirected directly to the model section. Otherwise, you'll just have to enter those um, shoot details first. So if we have a model in our database already, we can just click here, uh, select from the list and select the model. Um, okay, and that's it. Uh, now we just need to enter witness information or we can also select witness from the list if we used that witness before. So let's say we did, okay, Yaka, bam. And that's it, really simple. Now we just need signatures and we're done. So let's do that again, scroll down, one signature, witness, agree, okay and that's it uh, now let's also create a property release uh, pretty much same thing we just click on this plus icon and select property release okay again shoot information optional so we can select from the list let's say we're creating a property release for that same uh, business shoot okay property description uh, here you can enter an office, an apartment, or if you're creating a release for an image, for example, you can type in an image of Dubai on the wall or something. Uh, let's just do that, actually. Image of Dubai on the wall. Okay, let's hit next. And if the property is an office or house or a bar, then you need to enter this uh, address information here but let's say i'm creating a release for that uh, image i was talking about so uh, so uh, it's this image 
uh, we can leave this blank. And next, uh, we need an image of this property. So we'll just take a photo, use photo. Uh, this image of the property is optional, but I always like to include that. Okay. Uh, okay, next we have ownership information. So you have to select one of these three options. So individual, corporation or representative. So I'm an individual. So let's click next. You have to enter owner's name. Next. And of course, contact information. So email and phone number. Okay, and then we have witness information, which is again optional. And if the owner is not an individual, so yeah, let's go back and select, uh, let's say representative. Okay, uh, now we have again owner's name, but it's not actually owner's name, but here you'll actually enter the name of the person who is signing the release. Okay, uh, next, and you'll have uh, two additional fields, so uh, title position of the one who's signing. So let's say that he's a uh, lead of marketing. Okay, next. And now we have name of corporation. So uh, let's say, uh, okay. And we click next. And again, contact info of that same person that's signing the release. Okay, and that's it. Again, signature. No, no, no. And we have the release created and we only need to send it through the email. And yeah, this is how we use Easy Release mobile app. Uh, and yeah, I think that's it for today. If you haven't, check my first two videos about releases and if you have any questions regarding releases or you have a suggestion for a video, let me know down in the comment section. And of course, like the video if you found anything useful and if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below. Uh, thanks for staying all the way till the end and I will see you in my next video.